So Siketsa uh, is an emergency ambulance service set up by five friends. We started with one ambulance um, 11 years back with strategic tie-ups with London Ambulance Servicing, New York Presbyterian EMS, who provided the protocols and processes and the domain knowledge of how to operate ambulance service to five individuals who didn't have a clue about healthcare till they uh, quit their jobs to start it. This is a graphic representation of uh, uh, the impact we have had. We now have 5,000 plus full-time employees. 1,200 ambulances in 17 states across India and have served 3.25 million plus patients. And we have transported over 600,000 pregnant uh, mothers for delivery and have delivered over 8,000 babies on board the ambulances. So it's actually becoming routine uh, delivering 10 plus babies inside our ambulances because the women call the ambulance late. <laughs> Interestingly, earlier uh, this year, uh, with Acumen Fund and Grameen Foundation, we did uh, a study on uh, our, uh, an, an impact measurement of who, which segment of the population uh, receives our service. And uh, Grameen Foundation actually used PPI as the basis where, where, they, where they used uh, uh, 10 data points to, to analyze or, or get uh, the information as to which segment they, uh, they belong. And um, interestingly, we used a call center approach rather than a home-based home approach where we call uh, our uh, uh, pe people whom we have moved or the families uh, to, to get the information. Uh, after having done that study, I mean, it was, it was very uh, uh, significant in the sense that in Orissa, we found out that uh, in rural Odisha in India, that's East India, where in rural uh, Odisha, uh, the, the uh, BPL percentage is higher, we, we recognized that actually our, uh, our service was uh, uh, serving less uh, percentage than the population percentage of BPL uh, population in that region. So we have, we have, we have actually, uh, uh, post that study, now tried to understand why it is so and we, we realized that the tribal population in that region uh, uh, assumed that these ambulances are not for them and uh, uh, didn't call or don't call the ambulances when they need, simply assuming that you know, they do not have access to it. So now we are, we are undertaking uh, uh, campaigns so that, so that uh, the, the, yeah, the, the, the population, the, the, BPL population and the tribal population can you just explain what BPL is. Uh, oh, sorry, BPL is below poverty line, uh, which is which uh, in India is uh, uh, under uh, two dollars. Those people earning less than two dollars a day. Now, after having done the study, we just recognize that there are there are uh, easier ways to do these impact studies. So so. We, we were never tracking BPL as a, a, uh, as, as a uh, metric, but once we got to, got to real, recognize the impact of this study and its, you know, and, its, uh, and, and the impact we are having on the ground, we now went back to another state, Bihar, and simply uh, adapted our process while transporting the patient, we asked them, which uh, ratio, you know, in India we have the food distribution program where each family has what is called as a ration card, food ration card. And there's a color for BPL and there's for an, uh, another color for APL. So, same or data point, uh, you know, so, so it, it, it was insightful because we were missing out on that data. With the Grameen Foundation, we, we went through the um, a, a laborious process which we adapted now so that we, we now have the data point. And we believe that uh, you know impact measurement is very very important because otherwise we might have the infrastructure in place, we might have uh, the processes in place, and simply people who who need the service may be missing out.